While the news and headlines are screaming higher mortgage rates slamming the brakes on the real estate market, I'm here to tell you that those headlines are more about hype and entertainment than they are based in reality. Yes, the rise in interest rates is affecting the purchasing power of buyers, the listing and selling prices of homes, and the overall homes sold. And yes, the changing interest rates will affect the buyer's affordability range based upon the amount of loan that they qualified for. But no, the change in rates won't slam the brakes on the housing market anytime soon. In my 20 plus year real estate career here in Kona, I've seen the effects of rising and falling interest rates from both a personal and a professional perspective, including the purchase of my own first home here in Kona 20 years ago, which had an interest rate of about 8.5%. Now, if you said 8.5% interest rate to people today, they would be like, whoa, that'll slam the brakes on the real estate market instantly. And the reality is it didn't stop me from buying and it won't stop other people from buying. It just adjusted in my purchasing budget. People will continue to purchase. They just have to adjust their purchasing budget for that particular interest rate. Fortunately, there's an easy and simple rule that will help you track your affordability in an ever-changing real estate climate. And today I'm gonna teach it to you in detail. Aloha everyone, Todd here with Refocus Realty and livingincona.com. And if you're looking for uh, buyer or seller advice here in Kona or on the big island of Hawaii, please feel free to book a call with me at the information in the description below and let's get right to it. Okay, the easy to use and remember rule that I'm talking about in real estate is known as the 110 or the 1% 10% rule. The 1% 10% rule is a rule meant to assist buyers in figuring a level of affordability in an ever-changing real estate market. Explained in an even easier way, it shows how rising interest rates affect buying power and selling prices. The concept is simple and easy to explain. When interest rates go up by 1%, the buying power goes down by 10%. And conversely, when interest rates go down by 1%, buying power goes up by 10%. It's also important to remember that rising interest rates not only affect a buyer's purchasing power, but also the listing and selling prices of homes, as well as the total overall number of sales of homes. Over the last few years, we've seen interest rates at historically low prices. This in turn gave buyers more buying power along with soaring home prices. Now that we're experiencing some increase in interest rates, buying power is decreasing. We're seeing more inventory come on the market. And we're also seeing home prices either stabilize or come down a bit. It makes sense, right? So here's an easy example of the 1%, 10% rule. Let's say you have a buyer who qualifies for a $500,000 mortgage but suddenly the interest rate jumps 1%. That 1% increase in the interest rate decreases the buyer's purchasing power by 10%. So now that same buyer doesn't qualify for a $500,000 mortgage, they now qualify for a $450,000 mortgage. The 1%, 10% rule then gives you an instant approximate idea of your buying power in any market based upon how much the interest rate rises or how much the interest rate falls. Now, rising interest rates don't automatically squash a buyer's hopes of buying their dream home. In most cases, they just have to adjust where they are in their budget and look at some other options. Option number one, the buyer can make a larger down payment. Let's say the buyer was planning on doing a 10% down payment. If they have access to the funds and they increase their down payment to 20%, this may offset the increase in the mortgage rate as well as allow them to possibly negotiate the rate with the lender of the financial institution. That increased down payment may also help them if there are other competing offers. Option number two, look to adjust the lending terms. Think about getting a 15-year mortgage versus a 30-year fixed mortgage. In most cases, the overall interest paid will be lower for the life of the loan, the life of the loan will be shorter, and you'll build equity quicker. Also, don't forget about adjustable rate mortgages, ARMS. ARMS can be a very great tool in a time of shifting rates. One last tip, don't forget that FHA loans are assumable. Most people forget about this. 
Option number three, take another look at your credit history. Of course, any buyer who's looking to purchase should always be trying to increase their credit score. So your overall payment history, your credit mix, your credit usage, all of these things are very important to your overall credit score. Check your credit score and your credit history frequently with all of the reporting bureaus. And if you see anything in there that might be a mistake, contact that bureau and get it removed from your credit score to improve your overall score. To improve your chances of qualifying for the best possible mortgage as interest rates fluctuate, practicing good financial fitness is a must. Refrain from making any large purchases around the time that you're trying to look for a home. Also, do not be late or miss any of your scheduled payments on any of your debts. Changing jobs or changing career paths can also be a big red flag to lenders. Save any of those life-changing decisions until after you've closed on your home. And option number five, move quickly once your offer is accepted. Long escrow periods can be very detrimental in a fluctuating interest rate environment, especially if you're getting an ARM or a non-conforming loan. Appraisals can take many weeks, even a month, if you're in a area that has a lot of activity still. Make sure that you work with all of the third parties that are within the escrow to expedite their services and report back to escrow in a timely manner. Buyer purchasing power is the driving force behind real estate pricing because every buyer only has a maximum amount that they can qualify for to purchase property. When buyer purchasing power falls, typically home prices are soon to follow. When buyer purchasing power rises, the future outlook for home prices and home sales is very good. So use the 1%, 10% rule as a guide and approximate to see what the buying power is during a fluctuating interest interest rate environment, whether it's going up or it's going down. Well, I hope you found this video valuable and educational. If you're looking for more information on buying or selling a home here in Kona or on the Big Island of Hawaii, please check out some of the other videos on the channel. If you'd like to set up a time to talk, there's a calendar link in the description below. Aloha and mahalo for watching.